So McFarland's pricing is getting kind of out of hand with the Crisis Wave being $40 a pop and then the Catwoman and Batpod being $70, which normally the motorcycles have been 30 and figures have been between 20 and 25. This is kind of expensive at $70. So we're not gonna get too much into the discussion on whether or not this is worth the price that he's retailed this at. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're gonna take a look at how the various Dark Knight Batmans look on this Batpod as well as the Catwoman and several other Batmen. So stick around and we're gonna get right into it. So here's the Batpod in all of its glory. The one thing I do want to point out if you've not opened a bat pod yourself is that it comes in three pieces. It's really the bike and then the two mounted front guns are the separate pieces. So once you snap those in, then the unit is complete and ready to go. The only thing I don't really like about it is that there's no like stand for it because while it does stand on its own, sometimes depending on your surface, it might kind of just fall over, but that's a minor nitpick. Now, as far as figures fitting into the bat pod, uh, I do want to show that the way it's designed, and this is true to the actual bat pod, is that the knee goes into here, the foot would be touching against this, your stomach would be around here or so, and then you have these cavities for the elbows, there's one on each side, and then finally you would grip the handles right there. So uh, besides the wheels, there is no other like articulation on the figure itself. Like I said, there is no um, stand to let it stand up. So the bat pod originally comes with this Catwoman in particular. And I do want to point out that so we have this Catwoman and then we have Platinum Catwoman. And if you're unfamiliar, the only difference that you can see from this perspective is the hair being different. And then we have the goggles on top. These goggles actually articulate down to go over her eyes and these ones do not. But if you look to the side, you can see that her neck on this one is quite a bit more forward facing. And that's to allow her to articulate up like this as opposed to this one, which can't point that far up at all. It really can only go straight because of a combination of the hair as well as just the articulation of the head itself. But let's see how this looks in the bike itself. And here she is in the bike. So let's take a look at how uh, it actually looks. So you can see her feet are more or less touching the back panels. The knees are effectively in place. Her elbows are the same that they are in the cavity that they're supposed to be in. We have hands touching. And then here's a front shot of how she would be looking if you were looking at this from the direct front. And now we'll switch to the regular Platinum Catwoman. And here she is. So you can see that she effectively looks exactly the same. And that obviously makes a lot of sense. But then our front facing position actually also looks quite a bit the same as well. And here's the other one that I pulled out uh, just so you can see and getting them into roughly the same position. You can see that the one in my right, which is again, the bat pod specific Catwoman, can look up just a little bit more than our one on the left. If you look at how I had to position her to get her to be able to look that far up, I did have to bend the, the torso on this one a bit more up than this one is set as. Um, that's not too bad, but just a thing to note. It doesn't look especially natural in that position, but it's not that bad either. But let's get Batman in there now. And here's our first release Christian Bale. And starting from the back, his foot is touching the back panel. The knee is mostly in there, not too much. It's really the minimal articulation that uh, I, that we have to bend this enough to get that down into there. I think it could fit if I could bend this more that way but I don't know if it's gonna get that much more. But I'll try again on the next two. For our elbow canopy things, um, the problem is that the blades of the gauntlet kind of get in the way of the elbow sitting in there. So it doesn't quite fit in there either. Now this one only has one open hand and I didn't put it on just because I'm gonna put it on on the last one. And then on the other side, the other hand is a fist. So that one definitely won't go on the handle. And then our front facing view kind of looks like that, but maybe here's what he'd look like if I tried to get him up more so that uh, he can be visually seen from the front like that. But then he's too far away from the, uh, from the elbow pads uh, to get in there and none of that really makes a whole lot of sense. So plus the cape doesn't look so good on this version. So let's go ahead and get the next one up and we'll see how it looks. Here's our next Christian Bale. This one's from the six pack. And the difference is of course the cloth cape. 
Now, again, we can see that we have our feet touching the back panels, the knees, and they're basically the same amount as the other one. Not too bad, but you know, just want to point that out. And then we still have the same issue on this one in terms of the hands as well as the elbows not really being able to reach because of the blades of the gauntlets. Front of you looks basically the same. I think maybe just a tad bit better on this one. Even though it is the same mold, uh, maybe there's something a little bit different on the inside, or maybe I just uh, kind of got it better uh, in there. So. There you go. And I do think that the cape on this one looks a lot better. So if you had a fan and you had it blowing, then that can make for a cool shot. Otherwise, I think it's the next one that's really gonna look really cool on this one. And here's our Platinum Chase Batman in our bike. And as you can see, he basically has the same problem as the other two. So this is really the best that we can get. If you can get better than that, then let me know how you did it. But there you go. And then our front side. As you can see, uh, both hands are definitely made for this because both are gripping hands. So I got the elbow in there by putting the canopy like right against the first blades. And so that's a tight fit. So there is stress being put on it. So I don't like that long term, but I just want you to see what it looks like. So there's the other side. You can see uh, one, two, three blades and then there's our little canopy thing jamming up beside the first set if you're counting from the right side. Here's our front facing shot. You can see that it's still basically the same as the other ones. Even though this neck is designed for this uh, particular purpose, uh, he doesn't really look that much more forward than the other two. So that's interesting. Now let's see how well a Mezco fits on here. Here's Justice League Batfleck Batman on the Batpod. And as you can see, he is obviously just a little bit short to be on there. Foot doesn't quite touch uh, the back panel. And then our knee doesn't quite sit in there. Uh, I think his pelvis is probably in about the same position as the other ones have been. But then looking at the, uh, the elbow, that doesn't really sit in there uh, quite right. I didn't really swap the hands, though maybe I should have. However, I think you probably could kind of make that work if you really wanted to. Uh, get those gripping hands in there and get them on there. As far as the front view, that's a, about as far forward as I could get. Uh, I tried getting it just a little bit more and then his head popped off. So, but really that's not that different from how the other ones looked anyway. So if you want to use Batflick Batman, uh, the Mezco one, then this one would actually look pretty good. Now let's see how a Legends look. Of course we had to use Ghost Rider because it is a motorcycle. So uh, obviously again, similar to our Mezco, the foot doesn't quite touch, but it is close. The knee doesn't quite get in there, but again, also close. And then our elbows actually do kind of get in there. Uh, we are able to grip because this is the retro Ghost Rider. And then our front view is basically the same. Nobody can look straight up uh, to see where they're driving. So there you go. And if you like videos like this, then you should check out the Batmobile version that I did right here.